Hi, today Ibn Ab is going to present to you some ideas about theming inside Magento. It has two themes actually by default. One name is blank and the other one called Luma. This is show is going to sit on a merchant beta versions. Okay guys? Okay, I start. First of all, you need to go to your folder. Inside fronted design code and app and add your folder Abu Ishaf and inside it you're gonna create a file theme XML you need to go to this and copy paste content just change the title and the parent is blank so after that you've already created a new theme give to, Ma to Magento so between blankets you're gonna say preview image inside media preview dot gpg to finish this task you're just gonna need to add a folder with the name media and copy paste the preview image from blank now as we mentioned before we need to go to admin and click in stores then configuration after that you choose a top design but if I, we go to my to the database and click and through the top design you're gonna choose your theme and make like a very quick search for a word theme we have here my team Ibn Ab Abu Ishaq and the parents theme is blank so we move to the next procedures so now we need to create our home page But before that, I should go to blank for copy paste. This is necessary files from theme, folder, web, and folder Magento theme. As well, I add new page in the same time so I go back to my folder web if you open the folder CISS you're gonna find all file with extension dot less it's a new technique in Magento 2 dot less it's quite very popular formats gives you the ability to separate the task between the members of the work and it allows you and give you an opportunity to create a Saba file depending on the field of every file to be more clarified here I'm gonna give you an example files only for colors and others for grids as well as 
you get many directives like import as well as media targets besides variable and function okay guys i hope i have made myself clear here so i'm going to continue here entering information to the page Click on the save page. Now we need to customize the theme. For the recall, all the list of your theme is extended. The top list inside lab, web, CSS, source, here all parent files are here. like colors, form, icons, and so many others. So I'm moving to store, configuration, and related my homepage to the theme. We're gonna click in web from SMS homepage and I'm gonna choose my own example of custom, uh, customization. I switch the, the logo image which is inside the web image. Then I click on home and copy post my log dot svg. And at the same time, I'm going to installation my work, installation route of Magento from terminal. For example, I want to change the color of navigation part inside my theme switch it to the white i will test it with inspection feature then we'll see the small gray As we notice, the navigation class used the function dot CSS for obtain as a result property background, and the value of the latter is variable. I want to switch the, for example, we want to switch the value of color for this navigation variable from small gray to white. The easiest as I mentioned before, the easiest way to customize variable navigation background, we need to go to the theme dot list and write the name of a variable and put variable with color as value. Imagine too, when you change dot list, needs to create preprocessor. The way how it works by collecting all dot list of your theme and parents theme as well as stuff. We need to go to the terminal and remove the contents of the very process folder and poop statistic fronted folder. And keep this command. Try to refresh the browser. Whenever you do something, try always to refresh the browser to get the result. Then you can see that the background is white. If you want to play with the position 
or continents of view result go to folder layout and open a file names default.xml you can then use the tag remove okay guys i hope this is a bit clear you just need to try and now again try to remove the currency or you can get any dot html and change as well customize using the tag move inside layout thank you guys and i hope you understand well